keep following him. All your lambs are in the back now. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Mom, turn your ewes out. Shake it. I'm saving you, Bubba. Turn the video on. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Bar 7. Another episode of the old Bar 7 Ranch. Today, we're headed to... We're not headed. We are at... We're already there. We're at, at the cell barn in Hamilton. Hamilton County Commission Company in Hamilton, Texas. Um, so, come along and see what we're going to do today. Stay tuned. Oh, dash. It gets just as good of you. Set it up on there. No. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Look at that. Then your arm don't get tired. Bub could even squeeze over in here and get Bub, in the video. Bub, you can video. get the video if you want. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we're here at the Hamilton County Commission Company. About twice a year, they have a special sale, a special dorper sale. Um, one in the spring, kind of one towards the end of summer, start of fall. And what we're here today for is... We're getting ready to turn rams out on our ewes so that we can get them bred to have some lambs probably somewhere in September, October. Um, so we're looking to pick up about three or four, maybe, depending on what they cost, rams to turn out with our ewes. And if we can buy some good ewes, um, reasonable, we might even buy a few extra ewes to put into our herd. Um, there's only a limited number of, of people that can bring sheep to this sale. They've got to be really good quality. They've got to be from known breeders it's uh so that that's something most of our sheep have come from the bloodlines that are here in one form or fashion we bought a whole bunch of sheep at this sale in particular but we have a, another breeder that we like to buy from that and most of his genetics came from down south where these sheep are coming from so we're going to head in what we're going to do first is we're going to go get a buyer's number and a sale order if they have those printed then we're going to go walk through the through the cell barn and look at the sheep kind of look and see what we like what we don't like and then in about an hour or so the sale is going to start and we'll go get us a seat in the in the around the ring and see if we can't buy something so do no. i get to raise my hand no do you bring any money yeah i just went in and got the cash you wanted you got 25 dollars that won't even <laughs> that won't even buy lunch <laughs> all right let's go, let's go. <laughs> Yes, sir. 
All right, so we're done at the cell barn. I, hold on, we gotta pull away so yeah, you can. If you hold that, I mean, you're gonna give them people motion sickness. No, you're gonna stop in a second, so we can video this, so we can talk. We're just pulling away from the loadout chute so that whoever else needs to get up there, loadout can can get it done. Y'all bored yet? I am. Because well, you're driving like to the other side of the. I'm just trying to get out of the way, Erica. All right, guys, we're done at the cell barn. So we <clears throat> we were able to purchase three rams. Um, we probably could have bought another one just to be sure we got plenty of coverage, but we talked to the lady that brought the majority of these rams today, and we bought three of hers. There were actually like about three different consigners that brought rams, and uh, after talking to her just by chance, all three of the rams that we bought were sired by the same ram, and that ram covered 60% of her flock last year. Um, she had to do something a little different. She had to turn every all of her ewes out with all of her rams, and then she went back and uh, DNA tested them. And DNA tested everybody to see which lambs came out of which rams, and the ram that sired our rams that we bought covered 60% of her ewes. So, um, so they are to be pretty prolific. They are to be at least eager to go to work. So, um, <clears throat> I don't normally do this kind of stuff, but I want to share with you guys. Um, because I know we're going to get lots of questions about it. So here's what we did. I'm going to show you all that. Oh, oh, you can't even see that, can you? That thing is so good. Um, so three head, our average in them was $1,000 a piece. Um, not bad for registered rams. Um, maybe where you're at, you might be able to give $300 for them, or maybe where you're at, you might have to give $3,000. I don't know. This is what we paid today at the sale barn where we bought them at the little special sale that, that was going on today. So... Um, we're going to take them out, take them home, kick them out with the ram we have at the house. Um, it's going to be another, oh, probably 30 or maybe 40 days before we kick the rams out with the ewes. So they'll have a little time to acclimate and get used to each other, get to, used to the other ram. And uh, they're going to, they've been on feed a little bit, so they're going to lose a little bit of their bloom. But we've, we've got plenty of grass coming on right now, so they should, should get into their fighting weight, get ready to go. So, um... Did you film any stuff inside while we were? I filmed, yeah. I filmed a little bit of the bidding. Okay. So, I, uh, you know, just a little cell barn. Oh, we didn't do the video talk, we wanted to do. Talking with you guys. Um, so, what kind of bidder are you? Are you the give it to me? Are you a little nod? Maybe maybe you don't want nobody to know you're bidding. You're just zoned in on the, on the auctioneer and you're giving him the little old eyebrow <laughs> wriggle or the... <laughs> nose wiggle maybe 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 <laughs> like you pull on your ear like a bewitch well, kind of thing? if you if you ever bought anything at an auction and it doesn't have to be livestock auction maybe you bought some at a at some kind of an auction charity fundraiser or something what kind of bidder are you let me know um i'm kind of this guy give it to me right here i i want to uh, i want to intimidate the other buyers like yeah come on and then when, he was, then when he was ready to buy one of them but he didn't want to go all the way up a hundred dollars he went yeah, cut and it in half. He got him to cut it in half and do fifty dollars. Do fifty dollars, and the auctioneer's like, "I never thought about that." Which he did. He I mean, did. that's just, that's a common, that's just a common thing for them to say. But um, so, what? How do you do it? You know, I, I'm curious to know. Drop us a little comment down there and let us know. So, um, other than that, I don't know what else. We'll yeah. get some footage of kicking them out. Yep. See how they compare to old big boy at home. Oh yeah, it'll be interesting to see. It's interesting to see when you put them together because you. Don't really know the size comparison until you put them together. Yeah. Lots of good rams here today. Yeah. Lots of good ewes. There were some good commercial ewes sold. Um, you know, there's two different. There's dorpers and then there's white dorpers. The dorpers like we have all have black heads. White dorpers are solid white. Um, really not much difference when you're selling them at the sale barn on what they bring. There's no, we just like the black headed ones better than the, than the plain white ones. But um, like I was telling Erica and Clance has even made this mention. Uh, Clance mentioned that we ought to get a, a flock of solid white ones too. Um, I don't know if we're going to go that far, but it's, it'd probably be a lot easier to keep them uniform if you had all white ones. You know, the black ones, even if you take a, a black headed ewe and a black headed ram and you breed them together, you, might get you know, we've got a solid white spot on them or yeah. something. Or you even get a white one like we did this year. So um, just some things to consider, ponder on, think about. Right. All right, we're gonna get on the road. Thanks, guys. Yeah. All right. Push your gate.
<coughs> we got 14 dogs. We got enough dogs to help. Got plenty of help here. off of the same ranch, this older ram. Um, you'll notice some difference in their hair, in their wool coat. Um, obviously the three new ones were sheared for the sale just to make them look better. Is it sheared or is it shorn? Shorn, whatever. I don't know. It's, I think there's an argument over what that is. And uh, the, our older ram, you know, we don't shear them and you're not supposed, you don't shear them for wool. So we got them turned out in here. Why do they not kick the crap out of that lamb? I don't know, but them things are fixing to go somewhere today. Let's take them to Leon Junction tomorrow. Okay. Get off of me. Leon Junction. They're gonna be they're gonna be lawnmowers. For lawnmowers for Carlito. Carlito. But I'm pretty satisfied with them. They're not quite as big as him. Of course, they're not as old, so maybe in a year they'll be about that as big as him. You don't, do you have the papers on him? I don't know if we do or not. I mean, he's registered, right? Yes. Why are you still on me? Get down. All right. Next up, chicken coop building. Not today, no. I am. We're gonna we're gonna wean lambs right now since we got here. Oh. We don't have to go, you don't have to go to that deal you were gonna go to. Okay. So we're gonna go up. I'm gonna ch I'm gonna do my chicken coop too. We're gonna go up and get those panels out of the lots and make us a, another pen right here and get ready. We need to go back to Rivera's and get some more panels. I agree. They said that on our deal. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, I feel like it's time for a, another upgrade. visit. Yeah, right. upgrade. I agree. All right, let's get nice. to go. Take one apiece. What are we doing now? Grabbing panels to put up a... Yeah, we're gonna, since we got tore down all of our pen last couple weeks ago, or last week, to do some temporary grazing, we're not grazing this field up here, so we don't need this to block, so we're gonna take these back to the house to use them there. These are just blocking this old junky old fence, right? Yeah, this old gate that's no count. Gate, whatever. Somebody's been somebody been going through right there. You go to that end, I'll be on this one. It's hanging up now, pick up. Ready? Yep. I'm just gonna sit here because apparently I don't do any work. You're doing a great job. According to the commenters. <laughs> Creating another little spot here. We had one before. You can see the spot we had before, before we took them down last week to put up a little temporary fence somewhere else. So now we're gonna make another spot for today so we help? can pin the... You got it. Uh-oh, Cody's talking at the same time. can go that direction. I think with this one. Get that in. Down. I think we need to go about right. 
here like that, maybe. Puppies are barking at the neighbor dogs. Coming down with our neighbor. Look out, Pepper. Down. Way down. Uh, pull the buggy up here. Mom. Perfecto. So that'll reach so we can, well, we don't really have enough to close it, but we really need one more panel or come that away. Just enough. bring in the corner. Huh? Just bring the corner in. Yeah. Perfect. That work? Yeah. Be able to shut it? Okay. Now then, I'm going to open this over here. Like such. Can. Yeah, you got all those. You got those lambs in there. Next step, pin the pin the sheep. Pin the sheep. Yay. Pull that pin. Miranda is the leader again. She's over there. Well, she'll probably turn and go out the corner, and then everybody will want to come back this direction instead of. I think what was, will work best is if we push everything up there and we'll just bring a few back and the stuff that we want to turn out we'll put over here and the stuff we want to keep we can just run right Lambert, back in there. Get sense? out of the water trough! Okay. So everything's going up there. Yeah, but we need to put this panel Gosh. over here. I'll get up there. Okay. Just take them real easy around that corner. Twenty-eight barking dogs. Let, there give, goes Miranda give them a second, again. Give Miranda, them a Miranda did it. Yeah. Miranda is the pack leader today. Now then. Let's 
do this. If we open this. Pod, come on this side over here, please. We should have a treat for her. Sorry, I don't have any treats with me, Miranda. So what we're going to do is we're just going to try to let, we'll just let a handful of stuff come. You, everybody listening? So we're all on the same page? Yes. Sorry. We're just going to let a handful come down in here. And then punch, you're going to keep this gate pushed shut right here. You don't have to chain it because we've got too much junk going on right there. But just hold it shut, okay? And then we'll do the whatever we're going to do in here. What I'd like to do, Clance, is we'll, like the ewes and the little lambs that we're going to turn out, we'll put over here. And the stuff we're going to keep, we're going to run back into the pen over here, okay? Okay, so let's let, let's see if we can let some ewes and those. I'll pack just keep them, them Just keep letting them go. Cut off the big ones? I was just going to let some of those ewes walk down there if, they would, if just the ewes would go. Let just use or little tiny babies go. Let go. Let them go. Let's turn them out right quick. That's it. We got one. Wasn't that, wasn't that one a bait? Uh, we, got, we got one in here yeah. we don't want. Yeah, just hold it shut, Punch. Just stamp. Don't let anything. They'll try to crawl out right there where your foot Babe, is. Babe, my alpacas are in here with yeah. me. Hey, there's a lamb we need to get right there. Bring her back to me if you can. Well, I mean, they've never been nice to me, so. Put her in, put her in the hole there. I'm not very excited about this. I'm literally going to die. Cody! You're all right, Erica. It's your, it's your pet. I know, but they're not nice. Bring it, bring it, you. I'm right in the there. way of getting kicked. <laughs> Grab the baby. Little lammy. All right, let's turn them out. Don't let them, don't let them go on the pen. Miranda, you did a good job today. Walk on up in there. Just walk down the corner. She ain't gonna kick you. Just walk on down there. Y'all are scared of them old things, ain't you? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Please Push don't. There you go. Don't look at me like that. All right, go. So is where are you gonna turn turn them out at? What? Those? Are you gonna put them back in here? We're gonna put them back in here. Yeah. And we'll put everything that we weaned and banned and like that one, that's that ram lamb that needs to be banded. Well, we need to put him over here, bub. Just stand behind it and I'll bring them. Oh, you're not going to work them as you find them? I think it, we don't ha really have. Yeah, gotcha. I mean, I guess we kind of do. It would be just about as easy, wouldn't it? And then we don't have to pin them again. Why don't we do that? Chain that and go grab the the blue toolbox out of the saddle room. We can band tails and band the lamp, the rams while we're doing it. That way we don't have to run them all back in here and sort them back out. Okay, bring all them back and push them. Punch, go down there and bring them back. You gotta hold hands, Dad. You just need to be still and let them go. Punch, you got a holt on it? Hold, hold it good. Don't let them whack you. Bring me ewes or lambs, one or the other. There you go. Push that lamb up into the corner. 
There you go. Now walk, fo keep following him. All your lambs are in the back now. <laughs> that was awesome. Mom, turn your ewes out. That's one of the ones we banded. I mean, it hurts and he's like, huh? It's a ewe lamb. Mom, bander. Come here. Okay. We got one more ram, don't we? Right there. Yeah. He got it. He got it. There you go. Maybe you should sharpen your knife. <laughs> I have to use my teeth, I guess. <laughs> I mean, why not? I have to do it all in ways. Okay. All right, we got the U banded on. Oh, perfect. Don't let her Hey, you gotta control that kicking, Dad. I'm a woolly tail, but I don't like them near as much. As far as I can get it. Okay. Is that good? See that? See that? Y'all see that? How easy that works? Perfect. Know. That's perfect. Oh. Even even punch recognizes perfect form. That's a ewe lamb, but yes, we're gonna have to reband her tail. Grab the one right beside her, that ram. Get swung over on him quick. Yeah, get swung over and get his show. Get your legs around his head. Perfect. Don't throw his nuts down. <laughs> I'm not going to. You worry about what's your job and let me worry about I'm my job. I'm just killing you. <laughs> Them ones are going to be good. Okay, you're good. Get you another one. How'd that feel, Mom? Like a million bucks. What's this feel like? That's in the middle. Huh? That's in the middle. You're not going to be able to work around and get in the perfect position to grab him. Okay. Jerk and step, jerk and step, jerk and step. It's like clean and pull. What do you know about clean and pull? I worked out twice. <laughs> Get your legs together at the base. <laughs> this thing weighs like 90. That's fine, he's down on his knees. <laughs> Don't remember, did I show you, remember how I showed you how to? I'm trying. Okay. I'm literally pulling them You're down. You're pulling straight up. No, I'm not, I'm pushing them down. Okay. Pull them, you <laughs> I'm show you how to do it. I, I literally am pushing them down. Okay, done with him. Right there, right there. Go get him now. Go get him now. Yeah, get a hold. Get a hold. Grab behind his hocks. There you go. Feet together. Like your paint scissor in his head shut. There you go. Mom, get a hold of that thing. Okay. I can't get back. You feel it now? Put, this, get it put, down. put your thumb under there now. Good job, Mom. Can I video this ball cutting? Okay. Mm. Look how good them things are going to be. You got one more. Okay. Let's squeeze them out. Mm. I might have to do it with my teeth. Okay, put your knife up. Put your knife up. Okay. Pull the one out that's coming. Pull it out, grab it with one hand, and, and push up on the sack with the other hand. 
Okay, until you get up above the round part where you get to the string. Just keep pulling back and pushing up. Yep. Push up with this hand. There you go. You're right-handed, right? There you go. Stop! You're going to cut that cord. Well, you already broke. Cut the cord up by his body. Okay, put that in there. Come on. Get the other one out. Oh, there you go. Get above the... There you go. Well, stop, stop. Get your feet in front of his shoulders. That's a big one. Legs around his neck. <laughs> Lean back. Lean back. <laughs> You're doing a great job, bud. I gave that after two. What? Why'd you fall down? Why are you on the ground? Yeah. I don't want to go under me. <sighs> all right, let's. All right, what are we doing now? It. Now we're going to give them all a shot of overeaters disease because I'm going to let them go on that creep feeder and I don't want them eating too much and getting getting overeaters and dying. So we're going to doctor them and we're going to punch. going to put a little mark on them so we know which ones we've done. So you ready? Let's grab this one right here. Well, I'd rather get back there and push them up here. I think it'll, I think that'll work better. What are you doing, son? You just got a break? He's making sure that I don't get through that hole there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good job. You're doing a good job. <laughs> push that one up in there, punch behind you. You're gonna have to help keep them pushed up. Mark him. ask a lot how do you make money with sheep or how do you make money with livestock right here is a prime example especially with sheep and goats not so much with cattle but you have four ewes with six lambs so that's a hundred and fifty percent lamb crop so that's how because you're producing more than just like even a lot of times in cattle you have a, a 90% calf crop instead of having, meaning you're going to lose a calf or two. Here we're going to have more offspring than we have producers. So that's that's how you make money is selling the offspring of what you're producing. Well, we really need to, we really need to go to the new construction houses oh, yeah. go and get town. those door jams. But we can do that either going to or coming home from. I gotta go. I'm probably gonna have to go get something to make for tomorrow because I don't have anything because we have dinner on the grounds at church tomorrow. Just take like chips and dip. There'll be plenty of food. Cody, nobody will I'm even not going to be those people. Nobody even knows if you're those people. All right, I guys. are those people. Well, we're signing off. Thank y'all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Y'all can branch 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 All right, what are you doing right now, babe? Well, now I'm going to rinse these cojones off and then take them in there where I can clean them. Good, get them ready for you to fry up tonight. Have you ever done this before? Yes, dear. Right now I'm just gonna rinse them off. Have you ever had lamb ones? Never had lamb ones. Think they taste the same? I'm sure. Yeah. Alright, what do we do now? Well, now that I got them cleaned, I'm gonna
come in here and open them up, take this skin off of them. Do they look the same as calf yeah. testicles? Calf fries, yeah. Calf fries. Look just like them. We got lamb fries, not calf fries today. And that's what she looks like. Just, it's like chicken. It's like chicken, just like an old chicken. Just like McDonald's chicken nuggets, right? Ugh. Oh, now, now no one will be able to eat McDonald's chicken nuggets ever again. And yes, this is the exact same knife I castrated them with for all y'all <laughs> that were upset about my dirty cap being on it. It's a different blade, though. Does that make it better, hon? I don't think it matters. If it's a different blade? Everybody will find something to... Rap about or say, say we're gross about or we're doing it wrong. Or... Yeah, <laughs> you eat your cojones however you want to eat them. Do you eat them? Tell us in the in, tell us down in the comments if you've ever eaten calf fries or lamb fries as we're eating tonight. I have eaten calf fries one time. Cody's eaten plenty of them. All right, so they're skinned. All right. Now we're just going to slice them up. We're just going to slice them into about like pieces about like that. That way we can batter them and fry them. All right, guys. Got our lamb fries finished up. Got everything cooked up. We got Erica cooked some taters. I think they're in the microwave. Got the lamb fries finished up. I'm going to open them up. Look good. Taste good. They're actually good. really good. They're not bad. Pretty good. Y'all keep ranching. And we got our oh. fried jalapenos. Pickled jalapenos. Pickled jalapenos. They were good. All right, let's eat. Let's eat.